Hello everybody and welcome back to Gamers Grotto. My name is Omni and we are continuing Dragon Age Awakening. Last time I did two routes. I did one where this is protected, the Cinium Amaranthian, and, and destroyed the Vigil's Keep. And I did one that protected the Vigil's Keep and destroyed the City of Amaranthian. I'm probably going to go back and protect the city and then go to here or or I'll just stick to this one but let's just continue on and defeat the mother and hopefully that this will be the end of it I don't know if I'm gonna keep this also recorded because I am gonna go back and do this and protect this place and see what happens if this gets destroyed but either way Let's just defeat the layer. Uh, the, let's just defeat the mother for now. And then off screen, I'll do this. And let's see what happens. A fight now, really? Out of all things. Watch for the beast. Holy crap. I didn't expect spiders. I hate spiders. Fight. And so I'm going to do this and kill the ball. And done. Got some experience along the way. And let's continue on. God, this is like very intense. Like the last in Dragon Age Origins, it didn't turn out like this. This is way, way worse. This is still a good game, but I hate it when I have to make a decision like this. Tell me about your people, War. Well, Elf, you do not like me. A disciple. It's helping me, but then I have to kill it, too. So... She cast mass paralysis. Yeah. Mass paralysis on the hatch. decisions like this. I wish it could be like happy ending sort of shit. Take you out. Ah oh, come on, really? You gonna do this again? You don't do anything to me. It's creepy how they're called Dark children. Dark approach. Watch for their blood. Maid Walker. He's going to the midst of battle, and there's another armored ogre. Perfect. Wow, it's getting really windy outside. Wow. I think a storm is coming. Hold on one second. I gotta close the window. Don't worry, there are no tornadoes where I live. Or hurricanes. Those only happen on the beach. Holy shit. Holy smite turns into holy shit. Oh dear. 
That was cool. Oh, they both died. Sweet. Oh, boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nobody said there was gonna be a freaking high freaking dragon. No, no, no. That's not fair. Nobody said a high dragon was gonna be here. Everybody, you focus on the Dram Dragon. High dragon is much bigger. Oh no 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 no! Why is it casting electricity? God damn it! This is uh, cut this get any freaking worse. Cruise run is probably gonna be worse than this. Okay. I need to seek another one of these. God damn it! No! My buck is gonna run out if I don't get up there soon. Oh! It worked! Cool! That's a huge chunk out of it. Holy oh, smite! Everybody stick around! Okay, 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 watch out. What? Oh, cool! Look at that! Woo! And again! That's the coolest! Wow, I never knew I could do that. Fuck, that, that was awesome. Do I get anything out of it? Come on, give me some. You gotta at least give me some. Quick silver. Really, you're not gonna give me anything out of this? It's a high dragon. God damn it, fine. Be that way. That was cool! I'm glad I got that on record. I'm glad to see that you are well, sister. Oh, Sereni. Oh, thank Mythal, you're still alive. What has the Architect done to you? Why are you with him? The Architect is kind to me, and tender. And he has told me his plan. The Darkspawn are just like us. The Architect has freed them. And they search for a place in this world, just like the Dalish are searching. Everything he's done, he's done to help his people. You can respect that, can't you, sister? Uh... This is crazy. Talk some sense into her. So many. They killed our friends, and so many others. Don't you remember? I do. And this is why I must help them. They are like children come into the world with no understanding of what is good and fair. They have a bestial nature, but I've seen them overcome it. They just need to be shown how. Then come with us so that you can tell others. No, I have work to do. The architect is waiting for me. And for you. He will explain everything. You will see as I have seen. No! Don't go! I don't think the architect... I think the architect has to die. Ah, oh, great. A locked chest. I don't think I'm ever gonna come back here, either. Hey! How you 
you doing? This should be easy. Bitch. Another armored ogre. This should be easy. Then I'll make this really quick. It's better, yeah. Probably this. And then. And then this. And then you can do this. And then you can do this. Ouch. Dead. Dead and done. This should be easy enough. Uh, crystal. Will of the unyielding. Another crystal. What are all these crystals for? Alright, uh, let's continue on. Hopefully, this won't be as bad as a high I'm back. More people? Ah, oh, great. More spawns. What the? They just glitched out. Okay, do you wanna pick a fight with me? Okay. Well, how about this? And don't worry, I haven't done it yet. So, we keep going down. Something's already been here. Something's already killed them. Is it the architect? It is the architect. There he is. And so we meet again. No, Uther. That is not how this must begin. I owe you an apology, Commander. When last we met, I intended to explain myself. Fate, however, intervened. I escaped, you mean. You experimented on me. Explain yourself now. I restrained you only to prevent the misunderstanding that occurred with the rest of your water. Yeah, the sort of misunderstanding that ends with a field of dead bodies. Ah, uh, I get those sometimes. I sent the Withered to ask for the Grey Warden's help. I should have anticipated that you might view our approach as an attack. I am rarely able to judge how your kind will react. It was most unfortunate. You wanted our help, what for? took those men and bled them dry. The Grey Wardens that were brought to me were already dead. I took their blood just as I took yours, because I had little choice. Things have not gone as I planned. I only ask that you hear me out. Should you still wish to slay me afterwards, you may try. Fine, I will hear you out. My kind has ever been driven to seek out the old gods. This is our nature. When we find one, a blight is begun. Each time we attack your surface lands and you fight back until we are defeated. To break the cycle, my brethren must be freed of their compulsion. For that, I need Grey Warden blood. How would you, how would you free the dog spawn? You're trying to stop the blights. Why do you need the warden's blood? In order to become what you are, you drink the blood of my kind. To transform. Similarly, we must transform. I have created a version of your joining that uses the blood of Grey Wardens. But you that's take the taint your into blood. yourself. What we take is your resistance. That is how my brethren are freed. Hmm. In your blood lies the key to their immunity against the call of the old gods. I like my blood where it is, in my veins. If this will stop the blight, isn't a bit of blood worth it? 
This is what my sister saw. Uh, some new dark spawn seems others are insane. But let me guess, there's still a problem. Once they are freed, the darkspawn think for themselves. They speak. They act. Some, however, have reacted poorly. They are flawed, and they rage against me. The mother gathers them to stop me, as she seeks to stop you. I cannot defeat the mother alone, and I cannot free the darkspawn unless she is defeated. Our goals are the same. This is what my sister saw. An ally amongst the Darkspawn. This is an opportunity we cannot pass up. Help me kill the mother. And after it is done, I will leave to continue my work. How did you become free? I was born as I am. An outsider amongst my kind. Why? I do not know. Why do some of your kind become Grey Wardens? Why do some possess magic? I have no answers. Perhaps the other dogs spawn don't want to be free. And how would they know when the choice has been deprived of them? Without choice, there is only one path before them and that leads to the Blight. I believe there is another way. Stealing broad from wardens is per perverse. I thought it little different from your order's use of darkspawn blood. We both do what we must in response to the blight. The first blood came from Uther, freely given. She was a Grey Warden, as you are, and joined us many years ago. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. This is another path I have to take, so I'll make sure I do that, too. What is this mother, exactly? My most flawed creation. Freedom drove her mad, and she has poisoned the minds of the others. She has influence with the ones who have not been freed, and she gathers them as an army. I do not seek to rule, my brethren. I only seek to release them from their chains. Very well, you have an ally. What if he's wrong? What if this doesn't stop the Blight, but makes something worse? Hey, if playing with their newfound minds keeps the Darkspawn away from Orzammar, I'm happy. This is the right thing to do. Sarani believed it, and I do too. Thank you, Commander. I realize what a leap of faith this is for you. I hope that I prove worthy of your trust. The Mother lies ahead, Warden. I cannot approach her physically. Her children protect her from my power. But when you reach her, I will do whatever I can to help you. You have my promise. Man instantly disappeared. On it. More crystals. I have no idea what these do. Hey! Didn't see that coming. You dokey yellow one. Ah, come on! Ah, come on! Oh, great. Alright, let's continue. Where do you think you're going? Wait, my rally. My stamina is gone. You sack of crap. Ah, what the fuck? Cast mass paralysis. Go. Perfect. Oh, thank goodness. Ogren, you really need to And me, I need to. Get some stamina on. You help.
help him. Last one. Take it down. Down you go. Gladly. Dark spawn star. And kill. Only rogue can. Oh boy. Let's go. Let's continue forward. Ah, oh, Jesus. So there she is. The mother. Now the pieces fall into place. The Grey Warden comes, the instrument of the Father. Oh, and the Father, he is but a shadow. Oh, how my children protect me. How they love me. I have told you many times, Mother. I am not the Father. I am simply the architect. It does not change what you are! You took away that beautiful music, left us with nothing. It was a mistake to free you. It has left you with madness. I am truly sorry. What's done is done. The mother is horrid and must die. Ah, but perhaps the warden would like to hear how it was that the father began the blight. You want the source of the Archdemon? The one who brought all our kind to the surface? Here he is! And thus well, he knows. paint me green and call me a turnip. Ah, there it is then. Unfortunate. I did find the old god, Athemio. But I did not wish another blight. I attempted my joining ritual. My hope was that this would free all Darkspawn. Unravel the curse from its source. Alas, I was unlucky. Do you even think about the res repercussions of your actions? I should have killed you when I had... Is it not the way of the Grey Wardens to do what must be done? In the name of combating the Blight? The Blight is a menace, both for your people and for mine. To end it requires sacrifice and risk. And how lonely the father was. How terrible to be the outcast, the outsider. God, you're so he ugly and annoying. He wishes the dark spawn to be free, but what he truly wants is to correct them. However you feel about what I have done, the mother is mad. She cannot be allowed to... Be gone, Shadow. Oh, great. Any more than you already have. And now the hero is alone. Nope, oh, I got my friends. The mother knows your ways. You will not let her be, no. Not after what she's done. So it must end. It all must come crashing down. Yeah, okay. Perhaps we will hear the song again when we die. Oh, let it go. Let it come. Yeah, oh god, that's disgusting. Oh. Oh god. That is the dis that is very disturbing, very disgusting. Oh god. Why? Alright, these guys got to get the hell back. Way the hell back. You guys, you and you. Oh, Jesus, crime and a I'm going to stay alive, no matter what. Special abilities. Oh. Uh, you may call in special abilities with a new icon. I don't know what this does, but let's try it. 
Fuck, Rin, get away! She's taking some hefty damages. Agra, no! Alright. Oh, no. Not good, not good at all. Not really good. Oh, Jesus. Why? Take out the people. And Agra is down. Take this time into getting some more potions, ethereum potions. Bye. Okay, revive Algren again. And then... Ogren, stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. Reveal. Jesus. Come on, more. Ogren can use that. Okay, so he should take on this. This potion. And then. Boom. That was perfect. This is it. What? How are you? How are you there? What? How'd that happen? Oh, come on. Okay, fine. You do that. Could you possibly be paralyzed? Nope. That's not good, that's not good. Great, more. Just what we need. Alright. Time for another stamina potion. And it's time for assault. Oh no, grab! She used grab! Oh no, that's not good. Nobody can take her down. Revive again, so revive him. Oh, Okay, Ogren, it's up to you. Do it! I 
annihilate. Dagger, really? Well, at least I didn't use my sword. And the mother is dead. <sighs> Thank God. Now, it's just the architect. After the death of the mother, the remaining darkspawn forces scattered and fled back to the deep roads. The raids on Amaranthian became an abrupt end. The architect apparently kept his word, gathering his remaining disciples to follow the rest of their kind back to the underground. Those Grey Wardens in other nations were appalled to hear the architect's continued existence, but, when un but were unable to track him down despite years of effort. Some within the Order have claimed that the Architect's survival guarantees another blind, and yet the Deep Roads have lately been quieter than any can recall. Most have resigned... Dis, most resigna, resig... I don't know... decided that it is now in the Maker's hands. The destruction of Amaranthian did not enter the Grey Warden's um, Endir, uh, Grey Wardens to the people of Ferelden. Although much of the citizen Cinenary wanted to forget the terrible event and get on with life, a, saw, a small segment pledged to enact revenge against the Wardens. People whisper that the commander of the Grey was trying to influence Ferelden Paul once again and suggest the burning of a, was part of a larger plot to gain power. The rumors grew until, inside a year, a mob appeared at the gates of Vigil's Keep. Although most of the rioters were shown mercy and survived the bloody crash, public opinion of the Grey Wardens turned sour for years, until the Wardens led an effort to rebuild Amaranthi. The Arling's peasants suffered greatly during the war, and suffered yet worse in the years that followed. Success... success at the first riot, a vigil's keep embol emboldened them, and thus other uprisings follow, often put down with brutal brutality. Although the war devastated many farms in the Arling, all agreed the loss would have been greater without soldiers for protection. The farm holders developed a certain rever reverence for the warden commander as well as ongoing reliance on the Grey Warden for order and protection. The annals of the Grey Wardens hailed Commander Omni's defense for the Vigil's Keep as a crucial victory. In uh, the order's more clever uh, recruits often spent days studying the accounts in an attempt to understand the commander's tactics. The vigil became a trading, a training hub that would eventually eclipse the city of Amaranthian with traders reassured by guards continually patrolling, patrolling the pilgrim's path. But prosperity bred scheming and treachery between the merchants and nobles, testing the commander's patience for years to come. Peace allowed the wardens to replenish their numbers soon. Vigil's keep bore a capable army with wardens at, at its core. From their ranks emerged new heroes to challenge threats to Amaranthian, Amaranthine and all of Ferelden. Through taxes and levies, levies, the vigil was rebuilt. Years later, Voldric Galvanok stood on the ba uh, battlements and pronounced that the defend were acceptable, he would never speak more highly of any human engineering. Some nobles claim the Grey Wardens were involved in Ban Esmeral's disappearance. Ban Esmeral? On the eve of the final battle against the Darkspawn, dark whispers hint that the conspiracy to oust the Wardens from 
amaranthine still afoot. Among many legends that the vigil spawned was one of the great heroes of the next age, the sheep herder turned soldier by the name of Sir Alec the Valiant, who eventually founded an order of knights that lasted a thousand years. The commander's blade vigilance. Hey! Crafted from the bones of an ancient dragon was boldly stolen by Antivan crows. The blade changed hands many times thereafter, with some master swordsmen pursuing the weapon their entire lives. Some claim that this legendary blade had a life of its own and that its power is steadily growing. Dworkin... Dworkin Glavenak further refined his Illyrium sand explosives, but left the warden's employee, employee after Quinari mercenaries tried to assassinate him. Although the dwarven bombard, bombarder took his secrets with him, uh, the learned say he left clues for others to follow in his footsteps. The vigil soldiers wearing the distinctive silverite armor of Master Wade's cra crafted became known as the Silver Order. Under the tutelage, tutelage of the Wardens, the Silver Order developed into one of Ferelden's most revered military forces, lasting memory of the vigil's famous commander. Within Vala with Valana and the Arctic Arctic architect gone from the region the pilgrim's path began to see traffic again the massacre of the mil militiamen and the merchants however led to hostels between the neighboring human settlements and the dalish clans that passed by one human villager soon kidnapped and murdered a dalish child the clans reacted by giving the wending woods a wide berth but both sides know that at some point the elves would return for vengeance. Revenge. God. Hold on. <coughs> nah, sorry. A few years after Cahal was emptied of Darkspawn, Osgrimmar began sending ex expeditions to rediscover the knowledge of, of smithing that has been lost within the Taig. Eventually, House Helim. Helmy decided that Carol was too important to be abandoned, and a tremendous cost of dwarven lives, they cleared the tunnels leading Carol Ka of Darkspawn, making the roads between Osgrimmar and the fortress safe again. Calhero Ka was reclaimed for Osgrimmar once and for all. Time in. I mean, in time, the Alaring began to forest the tales of appreciation in the Black Marsh, and ever so slowly, settlers drifted into the region. Scholars said the, ve the veil was still thin, and thus the area still dangerous. But the people only cared that there were no longer frightened, frightened whispers in the shadow. The village was slowly rebuilt. Twice the Baroness Mansion was rebuilt and occupied, once by a wealthy merchant and another by an Orlesian mage. Both died miserably. Afterwards, the mansion was torn down completely and the site left untouched. Anders remained with the Grey Wardens a few years longer, training the Order's next generation of mages. But when the Circle Tower called him to deliver a lecture on the nature of the architect, much to the Templar's dismay, Anders told the commander of the Grey that it was time for the uh, time for his time with the wardens was over, and yet not two months later Anders returned to the order, even after the wardens were his home um, and his lasting companions. Valana never saw her clan again, but neither did uh, she forsake her Dalish culture, nor her sharp tongue, nor her quick temper. Her friendship with the warden commander changed her opinions on human, of humankind significantly. Shortly after the mother's defeat, Darkspawn and stragglers who still remained on the surface attacked a human village. Valana was the only warden nearby and defended the village single-handedly. She did not sneer once.
Years later, on an expedition in the deep roads, Valana took off her own, took off on her own, after saying she had seen Sereni in the shadows. The other wardens searched for her, but she was truly gone. After spending a number of years within the wardens, Nathaniel realized his life was not for him. Um, the life was not for him. He said goodbye to his sister, Delilah, and his n new nephew, then left to seek out his fortune. In time, the na that nephew became a great warden himself in Illumination, I don't know how to pronounce that, of Nathaniel. Then rose to warden commander, he brought honor to the Howe name once again. Justice served the Grey Wardens for many years, remaining in touch with Aura, the widow of Kristoff. She grew uncomfortable with the body's decay, however, and the day that she told Justice that she could no longer um, see him no longer was the day he left the Order. Justice wished his comrades well, then Kristoff's body slummed into the ground dead. Aura finally had a body to mourn. If the spirit itself remains alive, it has not shown itself. With the mother dead, Sigrun uh, seemed to lose her purpose. She withdrew from her friends in the Order and spoke to them less and less each day. One morning, Sigrun was simply absent, her bed made and her trunk emptied. A young recruit who had been up through the night said she had left for her calling, gone to finish what she had started in Kaharo. Ogren continued to regale young warden recruits with tales of his own, of his prowess in both battle and bed. Oh God. Really, Ogren? His drinking games promoted at least one recruit to declare that she'd rather re the joining, then lift another mug. Phyllis, um, Phyllis returned to Vigil's Keep several times to see Ogren, usually bringing their toddler as well. Ogren, in a, in aud inability to act serious, um, act seriously wore on her, however, and her visits dwindled, then stopped altogether. If Ogren missed her or his child, he never showed it. As for the savior of Ferelden, he did not remain as commander for the Grey for long. The Darkspawn were no longer a real concern. The blight well and truly over. It was time for him to move on. Some claim the commander headed west into Orlias, chasing after the dark-haired sorceress who had fought alongside him during the blight. Whether he found her not or not, he certainly did not return to Vigil's Keep. Hmm. Well. Well. I guess I left. But I guess that's all the time I have now. That was... That was pretty exciting. Pretty long. And what a way to end it. But, um, I digress. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Leave a like if you did. And subscribe to stay updated on more of my content. And maybe we'll continue Dragon Age Origins in the other downloadable content in the other in the other campaigns. But anyway, Gamers Grotto is home to all games to all gamers. So don't be afraid to recommend any game to me. Thank you and have a great and wonderful day.